everybody. I'm here with Sebastian. It's Dr. Warren from Kelstein Chiropractic in Baltimore, Maryland. Um, more specifically, Towson. Sebastian is coming back from school to visit us. We did a full feature where we've done three series of different soft tissue work. Uh, we started with dry needling over some scar tissue he has on his forearm. Then we did some class four laser, and now I'm going to do soft tissue work and adjust some full spine. Um, if you want to watch the full video, check it out. This is just going to be a soft tissue work adjustment, and I'm going to do an exam evaluation on them, just range of motion and any orthopedic test. So enjoy. Awesome. Okay. Face me. Yeah. Just walk towards me a little bit. I'm just going to start with posture. Good. Relax. Good. Look straight forward. So when I look at posture from the front, shoulder, height is something that you can look for. Now do me a favor. Hike your right hip up. See how it throws off the shoulders? So it's not specifically, I'm looking at what's the difference in the shoulders, but uh, just getting a general overview of what's happening. So a lot of times people ask and instantly like, why? Yeah. There's different things you can pick up from it for sure. So it's right shoulder slightly high, slight head tilt to the left. Bring your head back for me. Good. And then bring your chin to your chest. Any pain going either way? Mm -hmm. Face me, rotate your head to your right. This way? Mm -hmm. Good, and to your left. Better, better. Good. Do you see the smile? <laughs> Good back for me. Captain America. Any pain? No. Okay. Any pain? No. Okay. Let's take a look at your neck first. Come sit here for me. Just toss that whatever. Perfect. Slash down your chair, just a couple inches of That's good. So a little restriction on right rotation. A little restriction on right here at the CT junction, this first rib, a little tension over the upper trap on the, on the right side, as well as um, that lower cervical spine. So I'm just going to palpate, motion palpate his neck, right? So I take him into extension, rotation, extension just to see areas of tension, restriction within the cervical spine. He does a good job of relaxing. I've adjusted him multiple times before. So he's coming in, he's been studying a lot. He's coming in for a tune-up, as well as for soft tissue work on that forearm. So I'll show you how I do that next. Relax, breath in, and exhale. Let your right shoulder drop, good, and loose. And feel how I get that tension to build up, and it's rotation and slide, so easy. Easy, let your shoulder drop. Good. Stand up. Nice. Okay. Very Get nice. up on your back for me. I'm even checking like myself when I do that adjustment, just getting out a little bit more laterally. Right. So it's not so much of a push. I like, got a little pushy there. Okay. But it can be a little smooth. So I've been using Joshua Tree organic mm -hmm. cell for a long time. Yeah. Because I used it when I was rock climbing. Right. And I'm like, this stuff was good, and I kept going back to it and trying mm -hmm. some other stuff. I like this for my soft tissue work. And then, boom, bike's like, we're going to Joshua Tree to go rock climbing in April. Are you going to bring the sad? I'm going to bring the sad. You bet. It would be wrong if you didn't. It would be, it would be not as good of an experience. Uh, Apparently it's a... Porous rock out there. Porous rock. Is that that's something you have to take into account with? Uh, I think that's climbing. the terminology for it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not geo expert. Well, uh, yeah. Well, just because it's, it's hard, it is harder rock there, especially at the lower levels, like bouldering. So it's rough on the hands. Mm. So it's nice to have a salve like this to help with your hands. I like this soft tissue or this salve for soft tissue work. It creates a nice medium between uh, my thumb and his skin, so that I can find areas of tension mm -hmm. um, without aggravating his skin and still being smooth. Uh, yeah, high five me, high fives. And then follow through. Now I'm just gonna take a couple lighter passes back in the beginning. Go ahead down, go on through. Good. And then I'll start to work a little bit more, a little bit more force. He's, he's tough, he can handle it. He'll be a little sore from this, okay? Go down. I also got to keep in mind that your radial nerve is right there. That sure is. <laughs> On our back. So it can be like, ooh, 
this is, you got a problem here. No, it's yeah. just your radio nerve. <laughs> Gotta follow them. to see uh, how the tissue changes with that mechanical pressure. Now I can get a little bit better sense of what's going on underneath and can find a little bit more specifically where I want to work over that tissue, like right through here. Okay, arm back. Go ahead. And then I can reinforce. Mm. Right there. Breathe in. Exhale. Okay, loose. You worked here for a year and a half. I never did this on you. Never. Yeah, you might have. I, 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 maybe once. <laughs> You're like, can you work on this? I think this might be a problem for you. School. <laughs> I just never got to doing this for you. So I'm glad you could stop by. Hand back. Hand out. So it's not all coming from my thumb. Either it's a lot of pressure. It's my shoulder right. that is doing a lot of the work. Hand back. I know. So is this ART or is this, is that what we're looking at? Hidden stretch. Hidden stretch. Yeah. Cool. So ART, what's that? Back to release technique. It's one of the soft tissue techniques that are out there. I was trained in that. Out of doubt. It's great. Good seminar. Oops. soft tissue techniques are there out there? Cool, it's always new again, so yeah. tons, depends on who you get worked on by, like art. Yeah. Hand back. Remember the lady we saw in the parking lot? Yeah. So that style, that oriental style that she's like, this is this is how you know people yeah. get treated for problems in my country. Uh -huh. He probably is in that way a little bit. So what is that called? Chinese. I mean okay. you can look into it. There's I mean you go to there's as much information as there on chiropractic stuff you'll find yeah. in the soft tissue world too. And there's so much crossover between all of them. Have you uh it's the same subject. Have you seen any of the MPI soft tissue courses or I've attended seen. any of those? No. Yeah, I've, I've heard uh, some of the reps at school talking about that and I just never considered MPI in kind of a soft tissue uh, in a soft tissue way. I think it's interesting. I combine it all, right? Yeah. Keep your mind open. Yeah. Keep learning. So, like, I'll do like cross friction. Right. It feels amazing. It really loses. Mm -hmm. These fibers are so intricate in this area. It's just yeah. to do the one plane that they they flow through. I don't think it treats all the interconnections that they have. Right. All this force is spiraled like this of the shoulder because it transmits force well over multiple joints. It's a smart system. So if I only treat it linearly in any linear way, if you will. Um, I don't think it takes all, into account all the connections that exist. Okay. Okay, hand back. Hand down. Follow through. Breathe in. Exhale. Pull your wrist into my knee. Push, 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 push. Go on. And then relax. Easy. Good. Loose. Ladder on your shoulder. Good. And relax. Good. And loose. Here's back. Follow through. And then deviate radially. Oh, radially. Oh, don't rotate. That's hard to hold on to you. Try that again. Okay, follow through. Deviate. Ooh. 
Keep loose. A little tension here. Loose. Loose. Smooth. Good. So I'm just going to go right between what bone? My radius and my ulna. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now I'm going to sink right between that septum. Get deep. Open. Extend. That inner osseous membrane. All the way down to oh, yeah. best I can. Good. Open. Good. Okay. Open up. Loose. What is this doing? So the palmar fascia, it's like, mm -hmm. they go like uh, the plantar fascia. You've got the same structure and it gives your hand support. It's a little more mobile. Okay. It doesn't have to support your body. Gotcha. So I work those tissues. And there's inner osseous muscles between all of the fingers. I slip into those spots okay. nice. like that. And I'll pull through and open up the hand. Okay. What is this doing? Proving mobility. Nice. In essence, helping with strength, mobility in the hand, any tension, all the way up. It's all connected like the tongue, yeah. right? Alright, Okay. We'll do another session awesome. on Thursday. Sweet. You dig? I dig. Alright, now I'm gonna show you how to finish up this exam. Just a little bit. It could be a little tension there. A little tight. A little tight. And then come back here. See how it's a little smoother? Yeah, I do. So you can kind of pick that up when people do this tension okay. right off the bat. They just, the body's just like, nah, I don't want to go into that joint. Okay. So just getting that proprioception back to the joint, good mobility. Okay. When you come back, you will be less likely to avoid it. So I was, I was moving, I was shifting to the left, or to my right? Uh, left. I was shifting to the left. You're avoiding that joint and then entering your tension. Okay. So come on to, so I adjust, it. I'm going to palpate your good side first. Come okay. on your side, face me. When you have someone that comes in with more of a, a better antalgia, mm -hmm. as opposed to like just the joint being a little tight, right? Yeah, sometimes you have to take what they can give you first. Okay. Makes sense? Yeah. So I'm still manipulating this region in the low back. Right. Loose. Are you just feeling for like spines to just like splaying and come back together as you get me through? Yeah, I might be a little bit more general than MPI or not, okay. but as best I can. All right. Just general movement, just period. Yeah, of this region, okay. like multiple joints at the same time. I feel more tension through this region here on your upper lumbar spine. When I go to move you into flexion, I feel more of a okay. pressure or resistance here okay. than I do in this area. You move well right yeah. there. So I'm going to line up your femur and forward and adjust you like that. Okay. Dr. J style. That, that's, this is what Dr. Jeff likes here? Yeah. That's, you, know, you know that. 
And you don't, don't have you him? I haven't been adjusted by him in a while. I, don't, I think I've only been adjusted by him once. Breathe in. Yeah, like that was smooth. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale, easy. Good. Let open. Let yourself open. You'll feel pressure. Good. So it's two motions. Here, here, and drop. Good. Keep it loose. Good. So, you don't need to do the tap. It's necessary. But it helps you just let go a little easier. Mm -hmm. It's just like a, it's like a wag before you hit. It just helps the person relax a little bit. Breathe in. Exhale, easy. There you go, that's good, that's good. Breathe in. Get a little closer to you and feel that tension that builds up there. Smoother here. So I'm gonna set my adjustment through a four, a five, L three. These lower segments just like this, okay? Okay, we back. back. Side to side again, nice and slow. Good, face me. Good. Slowly, extension. Good, how's that feel? Better. Good. Good, and then I'm going to adjust your TL junction. Come on your stomach. Alright. So, what, what should I follow this up with, Sebastian? Probably some, some mobility, some exercises, some active care. Why? Because, you know, when, when you improve the, the active range of motion, that's when you're really going to get the, uh, the, the long-lasting results. The adjustments provide, le I mean, they provide a uh, palliative uh, form of care to allow me to do the active, the active segment of it. Breathe in. Exhale, easy. Good. Loose. Good. Breathe in. Exhale. Good. Breathe in. And loose. Gently lift your chin just a little bit. Good. Good. Easy now. Again. Okay, so primarily coming in for soft tissue work and dry needling, laser on that forearm. That's the majority of his treatment. But he also gets a full spine adjustment where he's fixated. Excited for you. I'm excited too. Sweet. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about chiropractic school, what's the best?